Today on I Play With Knives, we review the Microtech Exoset clone from DHgate. Before we get started, let me show you how to order this on DHgate. So open up your DHgate app and search for Microtech Exoset. And DHgate can be tricky, so you can't really search for the real name. You gotta maybe just search for Exoset. There you go. Okay, so what you're gonna find are options ranging from about $18 to about $50. And the one I chose was around $19 in comparison to the authentic one, which is $250. About 30 days later. All right, let's take a look at this. So this box is actually coming apart. First impressions is this is cheap. When you look at this thing, it has all the right markings on it, but who knows? And it has some lies on it that it was made in America and it's not. 100% Chinese and this is going in the garbage right now now let's take a look at the bottom of the box here so it is another cheap made black bottom of the box and that's going in the garbage too next thing is the nylon carrying case with a belt loop on it looks like it's just a little bit thicker than a tarp and it's got Velcro on it, and that thing's going in the garbage too. I don't think I'm even gonna keep this thing for other knives. All right, now we're getting to the real deal, the knife. Came in a little plastic pouch here, so let's get this thing out. All right, this looks all right. So one thing you notice with these clones right away, and there's a picture of an authentic one on the left-hand side, is it has torque bolts instead of the tri-wing bolts that are on authentic Microtech uh, knives. And that's a dead giveaway for any knife uh, that is a clone, is they don't have that tri-bolt. And as I fire this knife, it works well. And let's look at the X button. They did a decent job replicating that X button on the side. Uh, actually better than the other clone that I purchased before. The finish on this is decent and what we know is this is going to wear away uh, because it's a clone. So don't expect to get anything that is going to have a nice finish on it. Also all the hardware is painted. Anything that is authentic with Microtech is going to be tumbled and uh, bead blasted and all these parts that are not painted blue other than the blade is painted silver metallic. So what I found is that actually wears away as well. So let's go ahead and measure this up to the specs of an authentic one on the left hand side. It is just over five and three quarters inches with uh, just under a two inch blade which is the allure for this knife in comparison to the other clone I have you can see that this is a small knife. And that's the lure of this Exoset, is that it is a small carry knife that should be legal in California. Check your laws. I'm not sure if this dagger blade is legal. Hey guys, I'm gonna stop you right there. Just to let you know that we have new I Play With Knives t-shirts available now. Let everyone know that you play with knives and let your mom know you didn't listen to her. If you would like one of these t-shirts, go to the description below and click on the merchandise link. Or head on out to arizonalifestyles.square.site. All right, let's weigh this thing. So the official weight on this is 2.75 ounces for the real one. This one ended up being 5.82, which is heavier than an authentic one. All right, let's test out the sharpness of this blade. You are seeing the first time this knife is cutting. So what's nice about this is this side of the knife is cutting nicely. Uh, it's decent. It's pretty sharp. Cuts smoothly. Uh, it doesn't hang up that much. You can cut nice little slivers out of the paper here. It's, it's impressive. That side is, is decent. And because this is a dagger blade, let's go ahead and test the other side. Let's see here, well, we're still on that one. Yep, switch it over. And 
The other side of the blade is... Looks like it's super dull. See, I don't understand how these knives are so inconsistent. One side can be decently sharp and the other side is just... Man, looks like... It feels like it's been used for cutting cardboard or something. It's just, it's just not that sharp. So it's really just pushing and tearing the paper mostly. Let's try it again, see if we can get a better cut. And I'm sawing paper. Yeah, this, this thing isn't very high quality. Now I'm sure that we can take this and sharpen it up, uh, but I'm not impressed. Let's test this thing and see if it can be used as a money clip. So let's take our dollar, slide it in there, and uh, that's a little cumbersome to me. The dollar is a lot larger than the actual frame of the knife, so it's going to be challenging to get to that X button to activate the knife if you use this as a money clip. It just doesn't fit very well. The clip is nice and wide, but the frame is a little bit smaller than your money or your credit cards in there, so I don't know if I would actually use it. The money and the cards would get in the way of activating the knife. And if you had to pull this thing out of your pocket and use it in a situation, I think it would be just cumbersome. It would just get in the way. And one thing I look for in a good money clip is it should hold a dollar tightly. And this does not. I don't think I would use this. So overall looking at this knife is, hey, it's a decent knife. If it's the only knife that you have, it's better than having no knife. However, this would not be my first choice. So let's look at the three factors I look at. Is The first one is cost. I give that a smiley face because this is a $19 knife. It's not $250 like an authentic one. And for the blade, it is poor. One side is sharp, the other side is like a butter knife. And I'm sure you can sharpen it up and, and make it you know, as sharp as any other knife, but out of the box, it's not that good. As for the quality of the build, I would say it's decent. I know that these painted parts are going to scrape the paint off and probably the case is gonna rub some of that paint off. So I would say the quality on this knife is a meh. So when you look at the use of this knife, uh, it's designed for a state that has length and other requirements on knives. So my thoughts are, this knife is better than no knife in states like California and other states that have uh, laws against automatic knives like this. And check your laws before buying something like this just to make sure that this is legal in your state. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this review of this Microtech Exocet clone from DHgate. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to our channel for other knife videos and other adventures. And if there is a knife you'd like me to review, leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.